In tonight's battle, Mark the Baron takes on Kyle the Terminator in a three-round contest at the Docks nightclub. Each round is a challenge carefully designed to test a player's ability to seduce women in a real-life battlefield. The cameras are hidden, the women are real, and the game is on. Across town at Kai Lounge, our expert panel of pickup commentators with perspectives descending from the four corners of the male psyche. There's Alan, the cold, calculated master of pickup analysis, Peaches, an ex-all-star jock-inspired seduction specialist, Sheldon, the mysteriously coy and unorthodox philosopher, and Chris, a hopelessly romantic man of integrity. Together, they will closely critique each player's performance and crown a single champion. The prize, a limo escort to an epic VIP event where the champion and his closest friends will enjoy full bottle service and the company of our sexy VIP girls. Tonight, the party's in the Polynesian pimp suite at Grass Nightclub. Let's take a closer look at tonight's players. Up first, Mark the Baron. How's it going? My name is Mark. This is my Pat. I really like the dark mahogany furniture. I believe it represents power, and I believe it represents class. This is my bookshelf here. I've got a sermon of books. In order to communicate with girls, we have to be able to intellectually communicate with them. I have an assortment of colognes that I like to use. This is more of a summer cologne. It's a Caribbean tonic or Bermuda tonic, as they say. Last but not least, I've got my uh, lotion. I am the ultimate player because I have no inhibitions and I know that I have nothing to lose except maybe my pride and my sense of self-worth if I get denied, but that doesn't matter because I'm out there to have a good time. If you get quality girls, then you're a ladies' man. If you get quantity, you're a man whore, and that's it. That's the bottom line, and you don't want, you don't want to be, aspire to be a man whore because all that happens to them is they get rashes. I don't know if you noticed the one thing there. He says, you don't want to be aspire to be a man whore. He didn't even pause, he just drank his drink. He looked up nervous and he was like, as if, because I, oh, I, I, I am a man whore. <laughs> At least sell it to me. I, I think there's a couple women out there that can testify to the latter that he is a man whore. I like the fact that he's studying, he's, he's reading up, he's got something to say. The only thing I'm surprised you guys didn't slag on him a little bit is that he's got like a couple push ups that he desperately needs to do. Yeah. <laughs> or the, the little soliloquy he had in the mirror trying to convince himself that he's a player. That, that, was, that was quite touching. He obviously pays attention to the finer details, you know, the clones, the, the cream and uh, being articulate. So far, he looks like a gentleman, and I like him for that already. Beware of men with manners, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's the green snake in the green grass. And now, our second player, Kyle the Terminator. What's up, guys? I'm Kyle. As you can see, I love cougars. This is where every night starts and finishes for me. It's a queen. I got about 15 kills in it already. If you don't believe me, take the black light to it. And we're here, I'll take you to my trophy shelf, my wall of champions, and it's all me. We got a big trophy right here from up north. Who wouldn't want to get wheeled by this guy? Come on, who's that good looking guy there? I don't really have any rituals before I go out. I just spray my truck and a beer in the shower. I just shave, throw in some deodorant, I'm good to go. Got the jacks going. I'm a champion. That's why I call it the cage, baby. You think it's a game? Arr! I am the ultimate player because I'm confident. I'm pretty sure I got the looks to, to be an ultimate player. I'm pretty sure girls like me, and I'm funny. I make them laugh, they have a good time with me, and that's why I'm the ultimate player. Nothing is an indicator to me other than a sloppy room. And his bed is sloppy, mm -hmm. that means his technique is sloppy. <laughs> he probably got two or three girls that just left. He's, he's a guy busy terrorizing his room all night. He's a guy who doesn't wash his sheets. And if you're a woman who's coming back to that, you, you, you've got no self-esteem. Well, mementos from the previous night's conquest. He does wash his sheets, but it's his mom who washes the sheets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So be it, you're as a mate, oh well. That guy is a winner. Do you see the trophies in the background? He is a winner. That's the indication of a winner. He is you know a winner. I mean? yeah, but I'm no, not, not Plato, Mark there, who's talking about books and all this type of stuff. You guys want to hear about books in a nightclub? They want to see an alpha male. They want a guy who's going to throw them over the shoulder and walk out the door with them. That's what they want. <laughs> One of the important uh, and most simple uh, tools in the player's toolkit is the ability to make a woman laugh. It's disarming and it's a necessary tool uh, to succeed. Let's see how these guys do it making a girl laugh. In round one, each player has three minutes to make a woman laugh. Let's see how our players perform under pressure. Hi, how you doing? Hi, get out. How are you doing? Hi. There you are. Hi, girls. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Very beautiful eyes, by the way. Uh, I asked you a question. Are you, are you are you sisters? No, you're not. All right. Can I, all right. 
<laughs> What's he doing? Unless he's gonna do a magic trick here. That that was completely bizarre. It was like need alcohol quickly. Need to get drunk. <laughs> if I was these two girls, I'd be pulling the shoot right now. There and they're, look, they're looking at each other and they're saying, "Dear stalker diary." Well, look, look at her. She's got her phone on. I bet the first two numbers of that phone are nine one. Nine, nine one. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you didn't know me, what you know? And I was going like this. Would you would you think that would, would you think that was funny or no? Or would you think this better? Yeah, you think that's good? You like that? I think they're both really lame. Lame? <laughs> well, that's that's the point. They're supposed to be funny. But they're not funny, they're lame. So, okay, so funny would be... Okay, can't just stop. Like, I'm really embarrassed for you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm really embarrassed for you. Like, that's for me? not funny. Yeah. Really? I'm sorry. She thinks it's funny. Well, that's what it's I mean, pathetic. because it's embarrassing. I, like, if you're trying to talk to us, like, I don't know, I don't like... Guys, is he making a mistake by constantly addressing the alpha female of the group, where no, she's you, clearly you the leader? He's got to take on the most likely source of the cock block. He's got to win her in order to get that girl, because she's making the decisions. Like, if you're trying to talk to us, like, I don't know, I don't like... To be honest, Pathetic. you just made a huge fool of yourself. Pathetic? Maybe you should uh, get your nails done, your toenails done. It's called a pedicure. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not supporting that. Are you not? I'm not supporting Listen, that. Listen, look at her mouth right now. Look how her mouth is. Because she's thinking to herself, yeah, I do need a pedicure. But, you know, here's the funny thing, though. I think we missed something. What's that? He made her laugh. <laughs> <laughs>
I just want to let you give enough compliments to the cover of the. See, she knows what I'm talking about. Okay. She knows what I'm talking about. See, like, I don't really like those shoes either. <laughs> <laughs> your shoes are ugly. Your shoes are ugly. You're taking out the shotgun. Since I, uh, I had a little, like, fashion, like, expo on you girls, I'd love to buy you a drink. One more drink? Come on. On me. Okay. All right, follow me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. I'll get to the bar. I'd love to, I'd love to get your, your, your phone number. Woo! <laughs> she didn't even finish her sentence. <laughs> you know those numbers left a burn residue on her tongue. <laughs> Jesus. It if was. you want to learn how to be a stud, yeah. pop yourself some popcorn, yeah. grab yourself a seat, and watch Mark in action. Let's see if Kyle can, can reproduce this, this brilliant moment. Here comes the Terminator again. He's methodical, he's precise, and he's heartless. I, I love it. Come on, get down. <laughs> Go, do <laughs> it. That's not the way he works the bar. He's just brushing men aside. <laughs> Out of my way, <laughs> you <laughs> mortals. <laughs> you doing? You're not supposed to wink at me. Why? Because I can't wink. Wait, what, she just got a shot of Botox? What do you mean she can't wink? Yeah. <laughs> really? I don't know about those shoes or that, uh, that skirt there. I don't think it looks good. You don't think it looks no. good? Oh. <laughs> she's cricket her neck. She's not ghetto on him quick. You don't think it looks good? <laughs> you don't think it looks no. good? I used to, man, I used to. I really want that. Can I ask you a question? I'm, a, I'm fashion, please. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you have a last night before you go out? Oh! <laughs> she yeah. hit the baseball bat and hit his head into Cubby's coat. You know, forget Barry Bonds. That one's out of the park. You know, this guy's rowing for that head. Yeah. You know I mean? Follow me that bar, I'll buy you a drink, make it up to you. I don't drink. What do you do? What's that right there? That's my girlfriend's drink. Who are you here with? My girlfriend. Oh, really? He's at the bar getting me a drink. Oh, okay. I have another drink for both of you. I just want a drink for me. Oh, okay. Ooh, there's, there's nowhere for this to go but down in flames. He got obliterated here, but I love her. You know why? Because um, she's uh, saving herself for guys like me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's too arrogant. I agree, I agree with Chris here wholeheartedly. He was out of his league. You know, it's a step-up fight to the next level of, of contender, and he wasn't ready. This is a David and Goliath situation. She was Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> she, you know, and he was without a slingshot. Yeah. Guys, it's 1-1, one, one. it's playoffs, game seven, last game. Let's find out who the player is, you know? And we're gonna find out with a great game. This is a game that Sheldon's earned his bread and butter on, <laughs> living at home with his mom, without a job, and still pulling some birds. So let's find out what these guys can do with that. In round three, each player must seduce a woman by convincing her it's cool to be an unemployed artist while living with your parents. Let's see how our players work the artistic angle. Hey, girls. Amanda, right? Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm pretty good. But right now, right now I'm, I'm unemployed. I live with my parents. Yeah. However, aside from history, I'm, a, I'm an artist as well. Like I, my whole life, I've always been a sculptor. Oh, really? A sculptor? Yeah. Oh, jeez. You can tell a woman anything if you do it right. And all you gotta do is either surround the truth with lies or the lies with truth. <laughs> I've, always, I've always been obsessed with sculpture. Like, I love it. What do you, like, what do you do? Uh, I don't know, like, do you know, like, I, ba I base, like, I like to sculpture the human body. Like, I, I love wildlife. I love sculpting wildlife. You, know what uh, you live I mean? with your parents and you like to sculpt wildlife? No, like, cool poses. Like, I, I have a one of Rocky. You know, riding on the movie Rocky? Uh -huh. Oh, I love Rocky. <laughs> That's why it's him. He's like, he's like this. He's like, already. He needs to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> God's sakes. She's trying to speak and he keeps on interrupting her. Let her speak. She might give you something you want to hear. Like, what's he doing? Uh -huh. <laughs> left, left. <laughs> Right, left, left, right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, I totally know what you mean. It sucks because, like, and to one degree, you know, I it doesn't pay the bills as much as it should, but all it takes is a little bit of time. You know, it's still cool, yeah. right? You agree with me? It doesn't pay the bills as much as it should. Like, is there a lucrative market for Rocky sculptures? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna make a killing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's beautiful, this thing. Oh, really? I like it. Thank you. I like it a lot. After, after I kiss someone? Do you have to reapply? Um, yeah. 
mix up on the other guy. He'll have like sparkles. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> and now he actually engaged with her, building the report and taking the sexual tension you up a little need bit. It did take three hours. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you kissed me on the cheek, would it, would it make it like a, a heart? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, see, like, right. Right. Hey! Yes! <laughs> Finally, <laughs> they, there is a god. Can you make a heart? It's not a big heart, no. So you could kiss me on the lips and nothing would happen. You want to try it? Fantastic. Where did that come from? I, I don't know where he pulled that out from, but uh -oh. man, it was yeah. a compelling story he told. So being a sculptor. <laughs> yes. Mission accomplished. It certainly wasn't a Rembrandt, and it, it certainly wasn't a Michelangelo. I would suggest it was a color by numbers. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? On its best day. So let's go, let's go see what Kyle can do with this. Ladies, how are we doing? Good. How are you? You ever asked me what my profession was and I asked what yours was? You did not. What's your profession? What's your profession? What's your profession? Well, if, you, if you really must know, you're probably going to find this like a little fruity, but I'm a painter. Yeah. Uh, what yeah. do you paint? Oh, I like, like uh, walls? Uh, still life. Really? Uh, that was so awkward. That was like trying to take a dump in the woods. You know what I mean? Like, where is he going with this? Okay. I moved back home with my parents. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Would you paint somebody, like a friend or somebody? Like a nude photo? Life. You, uh, do you have experience with dudes? Um, oh, my oh my god! god. <laughs> oh my god! Not moment. Like, Not really, but yeah, I'm willing to start. I'm willing to experiment. Do you live at, like home all through the year? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Like, how do you bring girls home? It doesn't happen very often, surprisingly. But I'll tell you what. What? But you're so good looking. Thank you. I like your style, Dana. I like the way you put together. Oh, you remembered my name? Yes, I did. Well done. Uh, yeah, a little uh, small clap. Well done. Yeah. That's commendable. Do you remember my name? Becky. This one, this one, Becky, the validator. She, she needs to be validated, eh? She had to steal oh, Dana's yeah. thunder there. <laughs> she's, Do you remember she, my name? <laughs> she's uh, she's what you'd call the focus puller in the group. You think so? Yeah, I call those That's the focus puller. That's your technical puller. term? That is my technical <laughs> term. I like to call her a tryhard. <laughs> call her what you want. Okay. Just come with me, all right? Okay. Come over here. Look at that. What do we want? We'll do, we'll do the Kyle uh, tequila shot. So how do we do these, the Kyle one? Just put them down your throat and swallow them. <laughs> Mercy oh. me! So basically the Kyle is throwing it down your throat and swallowing it? Yeah. I guess you're what a hands-on teacher. I guess you could say that. Uh, yeah, cheers. cheers! Cheers to what? Cheers to abstract art. <laughs> eh? Yeah. Yeah, you like that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Did you okay. want a drink? Uh, no, I'm good. I'll get back to my friends though. I'm okay, I can talk to you again soon. Well, maybe, uh. <laughs> 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 oh! Guys, I mean, is there even something to talk about, Chris? You know, let's find out what you have to say about this. He played the gentleman, and whether that is really him or not, it was him right until the end, and he exploded. Yeah. And uh, so did she. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's done the athletic regimen well. He's proven that he can be strong and intelligent both at the same time. He's a winner. I absolutely love him. He's been toying with everyone. He is truly, truly got game. I have nothing but respect for this man. Move to the south of France, cut your ear off, because if you're, if you're painting rotten fruit like this, yeah. you are getting 5,000 per painting. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Congratulations, Kyle the Terminator.
Thanks, baby. It's awesome. <laughs>